G'day everybody and welcome back to Pete's HQ. I'm your host as always, Pete Oz, and today we are in the Pacific Ocean. That's right, it is time for War on the Sea. Now, don't know how many more episodes we've got left. Um, let's have a, a quick glance around, shall we? Uh, Port Moresby. It's about halfway. Um, halfway to victory or halfway to losing? That depends on how you want to look at it. Milne Bay, that's a little bit better. Um, we do need to reinforce with some troops. We'll hop over to the main battlefield here. Guadalcanal. All right, she's firmly ours. This is the second battle for Guadalcanal in this campaign. Florida Islands are ours. And then uh, Malate. Uh, Malate will be secured very, very soon. She has uh, 3,000 of the US's finest Marines on the beaches. And um, they will they will get the job done. So someone in the comments from last week's episode, they asked to have a look at what the Japanese have left. Now, they have quite a few um, destroyers there. Um, we sort of flick through real quick. Lots and lots of um, of destroyers, basically. And that is that is essentially what the Japanese Navy have left. Um, and not so many of those. Um, but once once we sort of get into, we flick into sort of uh, heavier heavier ships. They have none. Look, we have a look at the uh, sort of the, the Fuso here. None, um, even the, the Tone class, um, I'll leave that okay. They're all, all sunk. But what is interesting, if we go right down here, have a look at the aircraft carriers, they're still in play. So I don't, I don't know what the Japanese are doing, to be honest. We haven't seen one. We have not seen an aircraft carrier in this whole campaign we have two and i am i am thinking about getting a third we've we will have the uh the command points very soon like if we have a if we have a look we can't we can't get a japanese aircraft, aircraft carrier it's just not gonna work um we'll have a look at the essex <laughs> they are unavailable till december 1942 if we're still Still fighting this campaign. By then, we've done something wrong, but we can get the Hornet. Um, she is only 120, so next week we should be able to get her. Not too sure that is the right play, though. But for now, we're going to do what we do always. We're going to speed up time and see you guys when the action kicks off. Task Force Echo has arrived at a New Hebrides and they are beaten, absolutely beaten and bloodied. So what we're going to do here, all three of them, might as well release and repair. Now we have 131 command points. Obviously something came out of uh, arrest and repair and to be honest, I was not paying attention on what it was. What we have done as well is uh, Task Force 34 has collected troops from Renal Island. Um, they've got 500 troops inbound. Uh, they're heading to Milne Bay. I thought that was the better play, to be honest. Um, Port Moresby still has plenty of troops, so if we can cut that off, um, that would be that, that would be good. Um, C3 Force will probably rest uh, release you as well. So 131 means we have enough money for a third carrier. And you know what? Let's do it. <laughs> All right. What do we want? Um, Yorktown? Do we want a Yorktown? Yes, I think we do. Or do we want a Lexington? Let's, let's have a look at aircraft. 24, 24, 24. Um, 24, 24, 24. I mean, if we could get an Iowa for the the lols, that would be that, that would be good too. Um, how much are they? They're unavailable till the 22nd of February. And we are want to be finished by then. We are still fighting this battle on the 22nd of February. The um, U.S. command has done something severely wrong. All right, we're not going to get a Yorktown. We're going to get. A wasp clan. No, we can't. We got have we got every carrier we can. No. Uh Saratoga. Let's let's uh let's get let's get her. Alright, 
done. Um, so let's... So, task Force S. Uh, is that how they're named? Yes. Um, um, why is that not typing? Don't know. Uh, S. Task Force S. There we go. Done and done. So uh, let's go done. And uh, we've recruited Task Force S. We'll give the course. Um, we'll head about here. What we will also do. Um, we'll dispatch Dunlop. We will split the group. Dunlop, you can come down here as well. They'll sort of meet in the middle somewhere. And then uh, they can head up together. That will be very good. Um, so that is uh, we're up to it. I've got we got one command point, one. That cost us 130 command points, but having a third carrier in the area, I believe, is is 100 percent worth it. Malate is now under our control. That was the notification that just popped up. We have defeated the Japanese forces on the island. Um, there's a few still remaining. A bit of a, a bit of a cleanup operation. So if that's the case, let's move Cargo 3 up. Because um, it's now time to get our tired, tired Marines over to New Guinea. I feel really sorry for them, but that unfortunately has to be done. So that is uh, where we're at at the moment. Um, it is now currently day 81, 28th of October, 1942. Let's speed up time and, uh, and, and see what trouble we can uh, get into, shall we? Kingfishers have reported a task force entering the slot. Uh, let's have a let's have a look. What do we have here? A light cruiser and a whole bunch of destroyers. This seems to be all the Japanese can muster at the moment. Um, good job. We have a third aircraft carrier heading into the. Oh, excuse me, heading into the theater. We will radio in the position and we will um, send up planes to intercept. Rocket laden Avengers from Enterprise have found the task force. Uh, all right, so a few comments on the last attack we did in regards to going after um, the um, the cruisers um, with the the Avengers with the rockets. Ah, oh, words are hard tonight. Don't know why that is, <laughs> um, but speaking speaking is obviously difficult. Let's set our air. Let's set our um, about 480. Yep, 480 feet sounds good. All right, we're gonna go after this one. This is our this is our poor poor destroyer target friend. Um, the piggy in the back. You can see our three planes there. Don't don't, don't fear. There are more planes. Oh, don't know what that was. That was a bit of a um, bit of a slowdown and a stutter there. Um, all right, um, what we'll do is we'll head to about here and then we'll turn and attack from here. So we're still trimming his um, height, so that's fine. Let's, let's go here. Um, orders. Um, we will attack. Attack number nine. Heading in. Fingers crossed it's going to be a good attack. We will watch it from the point of view of an Avenger. So I hope everyone's having a wonderful, wonderful day today. Um, I, I am four-day weekend for me, the uh, Easter Easter holidays. So very, very good. Oh, that's uh, that is <laughs> wow, that's a big hit. And, uh, they lose another air, aircraft. Two. Um, Enterprise Avengers are having a bad, bad run of it lately. She's um she's out of Avengers, I reckon. And there we go, the klaxon has sounded. They at least claimed a destroyer. Now, fingers crossed, they are full of troops and supply. Um, the only the only thing I would imagine that they would be full of, to be honest. But that is a that is a good run. We do have more more planes inbound, and they are ready to strike the targets when they uh, when they get here.
confirmation there. Uh, one Japanese destroyer sunk for only 850 tons. So it was a uh, it was a small one. But we do have planes coming in. So let's uh, let's hope we can catch up with them and uh, and persecute them for heading into our uh, our defended airspace. Dauntlesses and Avengers have arrived. All right, um, the Avengers are carrying rockets and our Dauntlesses are carrying bombs. So what we might do is we might, uh, we might go Dauntlesses first. So that means we don't want the Avengers to fly out of the, the area. So let's move them all into here. Um, what they can do is they can all head down about I don't know, 700 feet, that'll do. Give us orders. Yeah, 750. Alright, how are we looking now? Yeah, 640. Alright, Dauntlesses. Alright, what we're going to do is we're just going to pause it up ever so, ever, ever so quickly. Red can target you, um, and you may as well just go in and attack now. I mean, I'm not in any, any hurry. Oh, actually, yeah, I'm not in any hurry right now, but, uh, you know, we, we, we want these, um, we want these Japanese um, planes sunk. So, a thousand pound um, piercing and two 500 pound high explosives. So, fingers crossed so they can get the job done. And then, uh, of course, we have our squadrons of Avengers, which we might split up because generally three Avengers per destroyer is enough. So, as you can see there, the Japanese task force is in a full view there. Now there was a comment in regards to how we should set our, um, our planes up for doing bombings and to be honest I actually completely forgot what the comment said and I do apologize to that person um, but I did I did read it and I, I just I, I just forgot. <laughs> memory sometimes it is it is terrible um, if you ask my wife it is all the time and she will she will agree with you with that what have we got there that's uh, a bit more dormices these ones are uh, looking good so they sh won't be long so I don't know how many of you guys who watch this are, uh, are fans of science fiction but um, after a little bit of um, hesitation I've uh, started watching Star Trek A Strange New Worlds and I literally have one episode left of uh, season two it's been fantastic I, I highly recommend it all right beginning the uh, bomb run on the light cruiser oh, those are looking good good hits good hits good hits good hits as our planes go straight through the uh, the anti-aircraft guns more Dauntless is coming in here. Let's have a, let's have a look. Hits on the destroyer there. My cruise is on fire, but that's uh, that's about it. All right, time to uh, call our Avengers. Yeah, Avengers assemble. One, two, three. We're going to form you up. You, you and you, you and you. Uh, form up. You, you and you. You can form up as well. Which then gives these three a form up as well. Alright, let's uh, let's get a move on, shall we? So we want to go this way. This way. This way. And this way. Alright. Um, purple, you're going to go after number nine because he's in the rear. Or you attack him and we will also take red. You can do eight. Thank you. That light cruiser is looking in uh, worse, worse shape than uh, than it could be. No smoke on the destroyer, which is a bit disappointing. Right, what do we got? We got two left to assign. We'll go. We'll go seven. 
Do we use these guys? Yeah, let's let's use these guys as a as a, as a bit of a just in case, shall we? Or do we come up and we'll just smash into number f number six? So yeah, let's 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 do that. Let's go break. Come up this way. Yeah, and then you go six. All right, that is uh, that's what's going to happen there. All right, um, that is a interesting um, interesting angle they're doing. So fingers crossed. I was going to say, he succumbs to his wounds, but he's not. Um, not at all. Some internal fires. Nothing uh, Nothing to write home about, really. Um, you know, dear mum, today the uh, Americans dropped the bombs on us. It's, yeah, it's that, that type of thing. No coffee today for me, because um, it's 8 p.m. at night. With a, an adult beverage. Right, you guys are after number nine. I don't know how that angle's gonna work though. I don't like it. I really, really don't. Are we gonna swap? Dauntless has a new contact aircraft. Crap. Zero. That is not good. Let's get him identified. Just for the absolute fun of it, shall we? Um, and there we go. Run, my Dauntlesses, run. All right, you are going as fast as you can. That's, he would be closing. <laughs> Number nine was identified as a zero. That is not a zero. I can guarantee you that is not a, that is not a zero. All right, here we go. From the perspective of the, uh, of the zero, I suppose. <laughs> Good job, boys. Good job. Oh, what we are going to do, though, is we're going to get these guys absolutely out of here. Climb. Climb. Absolutely. Break and go this way, please. is absolutely on fire. Alright, here we go. Another attack run coming in. We'll go from the uh, lead Avenger. Right. Good hits there, good hits. Ah, damn it. Where are our... <laughs> the, uh, the Zero has sunk. <laughs> That's good to know. Where are our other Avengers gone? All right, they're out here. Who are we going to hit? Hmm. Let's pause it up and have a look. So eight's, eight's in trouble. Um, seven is also in trouble, but four, four is is absolutely right for the picking there. And they are going to attack number four. You're, I want you to climb. I'm going to use you as, uh, as, my, as my scout aircraft. All right, they're coming in. So one is, one is sunk. So we've done, we've done two. Two, uh, two Japanese destroyers thus far. Where is... Oh, that's more than one zero. That's, that is quite the number there. They are desperately trying. Those rear tail gunners. No. Come on. Get them, boys. Get them. Right, here we go. We're coming in, though. How is that not sunk? Are you kidding me? Here we go. 
and it's bristling with AI as secondary explosions happen all around it. Here we go. Got him. Good hits to fire all over the deck. That is very good. All right, let's get out of here, boys. Speed up, climb. Two are shot down. Three are shot down. Oh, we are having bad, bad luck once again. Faction sounds, though. That is not that bad. Um, all right, fire has well and truly in devouring that destroyer. She is going to the bottom in a quick rate of knots. Um, these little light arm destroyers, they don't do well against uh, rocket attacks. So, I'm a bit worried for this one. Um, I mean, how has it not sunk? Um, quarter of the ship there is underwater. The, the wave lines are at the top of the sea turret. That would be the B turret, actually. It's got two large torpedo launchers, so that would be the assuming A and B. And there it is. It has sunk. So three destroyers have succumbed to our attack this sortie. Although they are running out of aircraft. We seem to be just be throwing them at the, uh, the enemy here. All right, let's... Um, Let's retreat from this one, and we will see what the after-action report has to say, shall we? After-action report, our um, light cruiser friend only has minor damage, so that's it. Uh, heavy damage and heavy flooding on number two. Uh, number four was sunk for 850 tons. Uh, five is heavy damage. So they are, uh, they're in a bad way, that task force. And we do have more Avengers coming in. Uh, these ones are from Guadalcanal. So Dauntless is here. They can RTB, same as our Avengers RTB. We're going to get uh, Guadalcanal's Avengers into place. Enterprise. Um, I really and truly don't like the fact that you have no Avengers left. So you, honestly, are going to go back. Right, task Force C. We want to release and repair. That's what we want to do. Um, select one or more ships. Done. Confirm. Goodbye. <laughs> Let's see if Guanacanel's Avengers can reach that task force, shall we? We could be in some trouble. It looks like the Japanese naval base has um, launched aircraft. So... We gotta be quick. We have to be quick. Uh, then just report new contact aircraft. Of course they do. All right, uh, let's get right down to business, shall we? Speed up and dive. Uh, we want about 400 feet. Those Avengers are on us. Uh, let's go this way, please. Um, we're gonna take out. Um, who are we gonna hit? Who are we gonna hit? We're on this side. We're gonna hit number two. All right, attack. Let's go. Come on, we don't have time for that. There's four Japanese Zeros coming at you. You do not have time to be... Hold on, that just threw them off. The smoking engine already, that's not good on two of them. At least these are from Guadalcanal, so they, um, they sort of magically come back. That's, uh, that's never, it's never good. I don't know when all the flight crews. <laughs> um, well, no one's coming back from that one. But 
Sometimes you win them, sometimes you lose them. All right, let's speed up time. Let's see what that task force is doing. We have kingfishers in the area, so we're going to know if they get up to any mischief. Um, task force S is steaming into the area. Um, we have the Dunlap. Uh, the Dunlop, sorry. She is going to... No, Dunlap. It is Dunlap. Uh, she's going to link up with the Saratoga, and they're going to um, take place... Um, take the place of... Oh, Jesus, you've only got six left, too. Um, yeah, that's the place of Enterprise that is heading back to New Hebrides to get uh, new birds loaded up. So that is where we're at at the moment. Let's speed up time and see what trouble we can get into. Under the cover of darkness, Task Force 34 slips into Melbourne Bay with 500 troops on board. So we are going to... What are we going to do? We're going to do none of that. We are going to unload all cargo. Done. Uh, let's have a quick look at the meter here. Oh, that is well and truly tipped in our favour there. Um, we tend to get some boys onto Port Moresby. Which... No, we're definitely going to take Mill Bay and then Port Moresby will be the last one. Because that's uh, that's that's very much better than it was. All right, let's Task Force 34. Can you go very quick down here, please? 800, 186, 240. Or do we want to grab more troops from Guadalcanal, another 500? I think we're going to do that. We're going to grab more troops from Guadalcanal. Yeah, let's... Yep, 21 hours. Let's do it. It's only a day, so that's uh, that's not too bad. It is night on the 28th of October, 1942, and that is where we are going to leave it. Um, we have lost sight of the task force we're engaging up here. Um, hopefully they have enough sense to head back to port. Um, but um, we will see what the dawn brings. But that is for next week's episode. Thank you everyone for watching. If you've gotten this far, please give the video a thumbs up. Um, mate, if you're not subscribed to the channel, um, thank you very much to those who have. And I will see everybody on the next episode. Bye for now.